the newest edition of the Chicago Blackhawks Central Hockey Podcast. I am Joe Vitale and that is Skokes. Today we're talking about Detroit Sucks, uh, <laughs> the win of the Chicago Blackhawks preseason against the Detroit Red Wings. No Alex to break it again. So, nope. um, I'm not going to see him at all in the preseason, the Blackhawks fans. Uh, so it's unfortunate, but he is a traitor. So uh, mm-hmm. we're going to, um, yeah, so 4-2, uh, that was a Blackhawks victory. Mm-hmm. And contrary to what Sportsnet and Bleacher Report have been saying, um, it, that was not a we want the cup chant. It was a Detroit sucks champ because it's the Detroit Red Wings and they are our most heated rival. Probably not anymore. It's mm-hmm. probably the St. Louis Blues, but yeah. Um, you know, whenever the whenever the wings come into the UC, it's always Detroit sucks. Mm-hmm. And uh, some people just need to open up their ears and uh, listen to what's going on. Yeah. Um, um yeah. even even when I heard that, it's obvious. That we're saying Detroit sucks, not not yeah, we want the cup. Like where you pull that one out from? No, I it know? was like it was like the it's like that dress thing, you know. It was like, yeah. oh, is, is the dress uh white and gold or is or, it um, blue and black? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, uh, dude, it's very clearly uh blue and black. But uh, yeah. <laughs> uh no, yeah, I I was scrolling my Twitter and I yeah. saw the Bleacher Report tweet and it was like, mm-hmm. it was like Blackhawks fans are chanting, we want the cup. And it was like surprised emoji. And oh, I, yeah. to myself, I was like, no, they didn't. No. <laughs> and I kept scrolling and sure enough, <laughs> I saw, I think it was Mario Tarabasi. Like, yeah, right, right. And say like, it's Detroit sucks. Like, it's mm-hmm. just like something Chicagoans do. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, okay. No, I definitely didn't think anyone was yelling, we want the cup. No, definitely not. Wow, it's awful. So anyway, yeah, the game was, um, at least on, like, stats-wise, mm-hmm. uh, on, on paper, it was a Blackhawks slacking. Yeah. 34 uh, mm-hmm. shots on goal and 19. Oh, we got murder in the faceoff percentage, though. We did. We, we did. Um. Bedard was like three for like eleven ish, around 100%. there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tyler rough day. Johnson forty percent. Yeah. Reichel thirty three and a third. Oh boy. Dickinson twelve and a half. Mm-hmm. Wow. Dickinson lots of, really. Lots of zeros. Um, and Peter Morazic, uh <laughs> sub nine hundred. So mm-hmm. uh, can't really you know. Glad to see the shot differential, even though they got outshot in the first period, 14 to 12. Mm-hmm. But that third period was 13 to 2. So Yeah, even the uh, second period, I, I believe we only gave up uh, three, three shots. Yeah, yeah, so. Nine and three and 13 and two. So that's that's good. Yeah. Close yeah. them out. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Yeah, three Any- stars of the game were. Mm-hmm. Um, let me get back to that page. Yeah, it was Perry Hall Bedard. Mm-hmm. Bed- oh, Perry with two goals, mm-hmm. Hall with three assists. That's wild. Mm-hmm. Connor Bedard one goal, two assists. That one goal, his first of the preseason, mm-hmm. and an empty netter. Yeah, uh, and you know. Uh, Power play was 50%, two for four, but that's a little deceiving because one of those was Connor Bedard on the power play empty netter. Right. Which he was not, not, not okay with. He was uh, definitely pissed, even like skating back to the bench. Um, or before he skated back to the bench, you know, like the guys are, you know, they want to have a little celly, right? You know, a couple high fives here and there, but but he was like shaking his head, like 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 telling him no. 
you know? I'm not going to shake your hand. I'm not yeah. going to high-five you. <laughs> he only gave, like, two high-fives, and then he's off to the bench already. He's like, no, we don't need we don't need to do this, you know? <laughs> and, and that's yeah. all right. Yeah, no, uh, it's, it shows he cares a lot. And um, yeah. I'm just a little worried that he might care too much. Um, yeah, right. You know, kind of like um, – I don't, I'm not going to say it's going to get this bad or anything, but like, you know, like Spencer Knight, mm-hmm. uh, he was like really, really hard on himself. Oh, really? And, oh, yeah, um, yeah. And he ended up having to take some time off from the game yeah. to go deal with that. So, you know, like I said, I'm not saying it's going to get to that point, no. but I just, you know, no reason for a 18 year old kid to be beating himself up like that. No, definitely you know, not. Like he's going to be playing in the NHL. He's going to be 18 playing in the NHL. So. <sighs> I think he's doing just fine. Yep. Uh, I think it's going fine. Um, we could start, I guess, just, uh, just with the lineup uh, before the game. Uh, pretty much what we expected on a Tuesday, more of the NHL look, you know? Right. Um, first line, Hall, Bedard. Uh, Tyler Johnson slipped in there uh, because no courage uh, due to uh, the wrist injury. Uh, no double A Athanasiu. Um, Ryan Donato was scratched uh, late, late scratch due due to a groin injury. Um, that was day to day, but he was on the practice ice on Wednesday, so. I guess it's not serious, but um, Colton Doc, uh, he wasn't supposed to play on Tuesday, but he slipped in there on line two with Reichel and Radish, and man, he he played his heart out. Colton Doc, uh, man, played played the corners strong, fought fought every battle, uh, stuck in front of the net, you know, got some shots on that and he's just hounding hounding the puck everywhere uh for a big guy you know like six three six four but he can move uh he has pretty decent uh puck handling skills uh thought he played great um so credit to colton doc there stepping in uh it's gonna be fun fun to watch him this year and um Rockford, right, and maybe he'll get a few stints uh, with the Hawks. You know, injuries happen, uh, so we'll definitely see him. Yeah, yeah, four hits, three shots, sixteen thirty-two of ice, plus zero. So right, right, um, not on for any goals against, and you know, not on for any goals for, which is just fine. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, he took a. I think he earned himself a maintenance day as well today. Right. Yep. And which is, which is good. Um, and then, yeah, you, you said Kurashev wrist injury. Mm-hmm. He'll be out about a week, mm-hmm. um, maybe two. And then, uh, yeah, Donato, just a little you know, groin tweak, nothing crazy day yeah. to day. And Richards, Luke Richardson was saying that he's not concerned at all. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Luke Richardson was also saying that, um, this, uh, this past yesterday's game mm-hmm. and then, uh, the Detroit one, oh, sorry, the Minnesota one tomorrow right, are going to be sort of kind of your real deal looks at what the Blackhawks roster is going to look like. Mm-hmm. And then, um, Saturday, probably just gonna give all the starters the day off, Yeah, you know, get those third, fourth stringers in just to feel the team mm-hmm. and uh, play against the Blues. Uh, so we'll, we'll look uh, look out for tomorrow's game, uh, the Minnesota Wild. Uh, that's 7.30. Mm-hmm. And um, tomorrow. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, so it'll be, it'll, you know, look out for that. We'll see. Um, maybe we'll see some of the Minnesota starters and their roster starting to round out. Right. Um, I think we had some news on 
their lineup. Um, Jujar Kara got waived, so he yeah, uh, he's going to Iowa. Yeah, he's on on out of there for now. You know, uh, we'll see where that goes. But um, word is Mark Andre Fleury, Blackhawks legend. Blackhawks legend. Um, uh, he's slated to play the whole game tomorrow. Oh, nice. Uh, Thursday night. So that'll be fun. Uh, hope we bury some on the flower there. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a couple guys got his number from practice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last year. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, just a funny thing. Uh, Corey Perry. I knew he would be sneaky. Right on that bottom six there with uh, Nick Felino. And I got to say, like, both of these pickups, you know, for their age, um, Nick Felino is, I mean, he's dominant with the puck in the corners, you know, just protecting it and, and getting it up to, like, the, the uh, point. But – I'm impressed by what they've done so far. Uh, both Felino and uh, Perry uh, potting in two goals there. Uh, he's just super savvy, man. Um, they both have some size, you know, and it's fun to watch because usually when we have these, um, you know, like a veteran presence, like the last few years, um, it's not to the like the magnitude or like the um, the uh, cred that Perry and Felino have, you know. Um, Perry just, I mean, he was a great player uh, in his young career there uh, with the Ducks, and Felino was the captain of the uh, Blue Jackets for a while there, and I don't know. It's just nice to have them. On that bottom six there, uh, they they played really well, and I I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah, I, I do like the the leadership capabilities of them. And you got to remember, Corey Perry mm-hmm. uh, is not no slouch. She put up no. 92 points. I mean, it was a really long time ago. Yeah, but um, <laughs> I actually saw a um, or there was a, I was listening to the Steve Dangle podcast today, and mm-hmm. there was a it was a um, a question about uh, heart trophy winners on teams. Mm-hmm. So there are like like three teams with two active heart trophy winners. Who are they? Mm-hmm. And uh, Adam Wilde ended up guessing the, the the hardest one according to Jesse Blake, which was the Chicago Blackhawks, who have Taylor Hall mm-hmm. and Corey Perry, who have both won heart trophies. Yeah. So. It's it's just a nice little interesting tidbit for you. Mm-hmm. But uh, I just thought that was like that was really, really interesting because I A, I forgot that Taylor Hall won one. And yeah. Corey Perry won one, obviously a really long time ago. But yeah, savvy veteran. And you know, when he's been on Corey Perry, that is, you know, the last couple of teams, the Tampa Bay Lightning and um Montreal Canadians, you know, he's yep. been on he's been in that bottom six role, yeah, he's been scoring. Like mm-hmm. you know, he's he's probably averaging like twelve minutes a night, and that might even be a little generous. Mm-hmm. But he's still putting up like twenty goals. So it's like, yeah, weird. It's, it's aw- you know, it's awesome. It's great efficiency from him, and just savvy veteran moves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, definitely a bright spot, right, uh, for the preseason here, but. Maybe a bit of a, a bit of a take, I I guess from me, um, just from what I've seen. The um, so we're four games in, yeah, uh, four preseason preseason games in, and I know um, Taylor Hall just got back on the ice a week and a half ago. You know, two two weeks ago now, but um. I guess I haven't been very impressed with Bedard's line mates, um, whether it's uh, Hall and Donato 
or if you know uh, someone's rotating in. But I, I I just don't know if Donato can stick on line one. No, I don't think so. Um, he just doesn't seem like like someone that's ready for the passes um for for the opportunities right like you have to finish too um playing with bedard and hall uh i just don't think donato is the best fit you know uh for that line one i i think it was taylor radish that slipped in on line one for a few shifts here and there on uh tuesday you know because coach luke likes to blend it up a bit you know towards the end like second half of the game. Um, yeah. I know we didn't see Donato last night, but just from what, what we've seen, I don't think he's going to stick long-term on line one there. I, I think someone's going to slot in. Uh, but just getting to, to Taylor Hall really quick, uh, like I said, like he's only been back on the ice for a week and a half-ish. Um, and he's already played four preseason games, you know, or uh, three. But his step looks a little slow to me. Hmm. And I know he's getting his feedback uh, going here, you know, because, the, I mean, they just got back on the ice. But um, I don't think I've seen what we've kind of expected with him. At this point, right? You know, like he plays with speed, nifty, like nifty with the puck um, around the net and just ready to rip it if he gets a pass, you know. Uh, he just doesn't seem 100% right now. If I would have had a, you know, guess on a number, he's probably like 85 ish percent, like all there. Yeah. Right. And, I don't want to say like I'm worried about it, but just something that I've noticed and definitely want to see um, turned up here, you know, for a game one uh, c- coming up here on uh, Tuesday night uh, against the Penguins, you know, uh, Bedard's going to need help. I uh, he can't do it all by himself. So, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. You know, that's, let's be frank. That's the reason Taylor Hall was brought in is because right? he's an elite, you know, heart trophy caliber talent. So, you know, he was dealing with a little bit of an injury. Right. Um, and so maybe maybe he came back a little soon or maybe. Yeah, it could maybe, be. Or maybe it's just something that, you know, it takes time to heal, but you can still play with it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, it could be a myriad of things, really. Right. Um, but, you know, maybe he just doesn't, you know, Maybe he doesn't like preseason. Yeah, I was gonna say like, maybe he just doesn't care. <laughs> you know, it's True. preseason, and he's just like, you know what? I'm not gonna push myself <laughs> right. because if I get hurt, you know, yeah, then we're screwed. He, he's in trouble. The team's in trouble. Yeah. I mean, everyone's in trouble, unfortunately. Yeah. So you know, maybe you know, it could be, it could just be a simple thing like that. Mm-hmm. I just saw Ben Pope. Um, wrote an article about uh, Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall, he has a cottage in Muskoka. Yeah. And it's got, a lot, of, got a lot of stairs in it, I guess. And okay. I guess part of Taylor Hall's training is to run stairs. So oh, he's doing so steps. He, yeah. So he just went up, went to the cottage and ran steps for a, a while. So yeah. pretty cool. Um interesting way you know i i think you know uh if you're a professional athlete you probably have access to a gym that has a stair stepper in it but uh yeah you know uh or you could just buy one since you're getting paid like you know right multi-millionaire cash, right? you know but yeah. you know hey man uh, if you don't gotta you don't gotta spend the money you don't gotta spend the money so yeah saving uh, money but yeah you know i i think that first line um you know, I I really want to know where Tyler Johnson is in all of this. Yeah, because in the in the pre or in, in like uh, the summer, mm-hmm. uh, even before preseason, people were slotting uh, T Johnny in that in that first line right wing role. Yeah, you know, using his um, 
like his uh, skill. Uh, cap yeah, captain ability, you know, yeah. uh, his leadership skills and his actual skills since he was, you know, he was the one C for Tampa Bay, I think, for a while. Yeah. Right. And then, you know, he kind of he broke his wrist in the 2015 playoffs. And I don't know if he's ever been the same, but yeah. Uh, and then he got artificial disc replacement surgery so that he could fix his skating as well. So, you know, mm -hmm. there's there's a lot of players on this team mm -hmm. who um, have been injured. They got the injuries fixed. And now, you know, this is the, the first full year with them. Yeah. And they're going to see, you know, they're healthy. They're they're changing up. You know, I think I saw an article about Nikita Zaitsev. Mm -hmm. You know, he got a new personal trainer and now he's moving completely different. Wow. And maybe that will, you know, relay on the ice. Mm -hmm. You know, time will tell. So, you know, I feel like the Blackhawks are in kind of a unique situation where they've got a bunch of guys who have gotten these, these second lives, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, you're Nick Felino. You know, he was injured last season. Yeah. You know, kind of shaky. Like Corey Perry, not that he needs a resurgence or anything, because <laughs> as we've stated before, he's been, you know, I just still can't believe he's off the Blackhawks, to be right. honest. Right. Assistant uh, captain. Yeah, assistant captain. So, you know, he's using the leadership ability. So we got all these leadership guys, you got all these guys in these unique circumstances that there's, they're swapping things up. They're trying new things out. Maybe it'll be good things for them on the ice, but you know, time will tell. And I'm just really excited for uh, was it next next Tuesday? You're saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, with against the Pittsburgh Penguins. So right. That's gonna be a blast. Yep. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Um, really quick on the uh, TJ uh, Tyler Johnson point. Um, yeah, he he was like the Braden Point before Braden Point. You, exactly. You know, I mean, he was at Speedy Centerman. Uh, I, I mean, he was fast um, back Quick. in the day there. Yeah. But um, that's good that, that you. Shifty. Yeah. Uh, and we and we still see a little burst from the, uh, from him, you know. And he was on line one. Um, last night to start the game and just from like first glance uh not not really going back into it um too much but it did seem like he he slotted in pretty well uh protecting the puck more accurate passing it um than ryan donato um and even when uh taylor radish cycled in there for uh tj on some shifts i just think it looked better uh than with donato so maybe it is a donato issue yeah. um but just from that first glance uh tj and radish uh i i thought the line had more stability and they they were moving the puck better um just just quicker you know more more accurate passing more more like shot attempts uh johnson had a couple great scoring chances uh just just couldn't find the back of the net there but um thought they looked good definitely yeah taylor radish is listed as a cat friendly as a right winger so yeah right Taylor radish on that first line right wing would not be the end of the world um, no, mm -hmm. you know, like a Hall Bedard Radish, and then mm -hmm. probably a uh, what is it? it would be Kurashev, Kurashev, mm -hmm. Reichel, Athanasiu, right? Right, mm -hmm. and then you could probably go, oh, like uh, Gutman, Johnson, Donato, possibly, right? Yeah, I'd probably go. Uh, Donato, Gutman, Johnson, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and then and then you got Dickinson, Perry, Felino, round it out. Yeah. yeah. As the fourth line. Oh man. Yeah. I mean, what a step. You know? We we taken here in a year. <laughs> uh j just to see that we're more stable uh th throughout the lineup. Um yeah, we're we're definitely gonna be blending it up a lot. 
uh, Coach Luke. He'll be busy with this, definitely. For sure, yeah. And, yeah. I mean, he's got plenty of options also. You know, Mackenzie Enwistle, he's battling for a job. Unfortunately, I don't think it's been I, – I, I think uh, he's probably going to be a 13th, 14th forward. Right, right. Um, same thing with, like, a Boris Kachu. Yeah. Colin Blackwell's uh, still hurt as far as I know. Yeah. So he's probably joining that group as well. So mm-hmm. that's probably the, – honestly, those are probably the forwards. But what we yeah. just said. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And, you know – not a lot of uh you know rookies or young guys you know no you know, it's like bedard mm, and gutman ish yeah right? exactly and right then, goal yeah right goal but you know i think reichel is a, a definitive nhler i think mm-hmm. gutman is a definitive a, a, a nhler yeah at this point mm-hmm. yeah and he looked good uh Throughout the preseason, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. and with Gutman, I think it was it was never like, uh, oh, is this guy going to be able to survive? It was, mm-hmm. you know, he, uh, you know, he uh, separated his shoulder or something. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. He had a, a, a pretty bad shoulder injury that he needed surgery on. Mm-hmm. And he played through it a lot. Um, and which I appreciate, you know, yeah. but it's like, you know, I, I, I wouldn't like pencil Gutman in not because I don't think he's skilled but because Mm -hmm. I I didn't know if he wanted to go all out right away with his surgically repaired shoulder you know yeah and it appears that he's completely okay with it oh yeah and so you know that's great for him Mm -hmm. you know I was just thinking maybe start out in the AHL you know just Mm -hmm. take it not take it easy but like you know take it a little easy and then when the needs arise for centermen at the NHL level, we can bring him up. That's no problem. But mm-hmm. you know, he's he's played himself into a roster spot. Commend him for that. I'm yeah. really excited to see him because I'm pretty sure he's he was the only one uh, to score in the last preseason. So mm-hmm. yeah, uh, I right, think right. he was the Chicago Blackhawks. So yeah, um, you know, build, it's awesome. build around Gutman. Right, exactly. Yeah. You know, Bedard who? Huh? No, I'm yeah. talking about Gutman, bro. <laughs> yeah, Cole. Yeah. So uh man, that's yeah, I'm I'm excited. Um just uh what was it five days? Until yes. the start of the season. Yes. hmm Yep. Uh it's, it's gonna be good. Um we sent down Starboard back to Rockford. Um so the only goalies on the current uh Hawks roster right now is Morazic and Soderbloom, which we obviously all knew. <laughs> we all knew that's so that was, that was the tandem for sure. Right, and it's still in the back of my mind that um, you're probably gonna need to bring on another body somehow, you know, because don't really want to rush Camesso, but no, I mean, hell no, I don't. No. I don't want to see that guy in. No, in, definitely in, no. In a Blackhawk sweater ever. In, yeah, in the, I mean, sorry, not ever, not not ever this season. Yeah, <laughs> right. right. I'll clarify. Yeah. Obviously, he is the future goaltender of the franchise, but yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. No, I don't. I you know I I saw I just saw um, you know uh, the Devils got Eric uh, Chalgren, oh, and really? they uh, sent him down. To the mm-hmm. minors, so they're probably going to go with Schmid and Vanacek, I assume. But Schalgren mm-hmm. is good for the Leafs. You know, he got yeah. hurt a little bit, but mm-hmm. I think he's a very good, and he's young as well. So mm-hmm. if I were the Blackhawks, I would uh, honestly, I might have taken a flyer on him because right. we know Peter Morazic's groin is made of glass. <laughs> yeah, taped uh, together by yeah. Scotch tape. And glass. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah. um, I just, uh, yeah, and you know, you're you're not gonna, you know, I just, they'll probably just bring up Stauber, you know. That's what I've been thinking, yeah, because and then weeks up from the coast, from right? Indy, mm-hmm. and then he'll he'll fill in, and then it'll be Camesso. They'll be riding Camesso weeks, but right. Um, really quick on the weeks thing. Um, the Ice Hogs played their first preseason game today, um, 
and the Iowa Wild, right? Um, looks similar to the um, to the Hawks game against the Red Wings. The first game, I think it was like six to two, got obliterated, but um, pumped. They got pumped. yeah, uh, I believe Weeks was in net. Um, Nolan Allen played. Nice to oh, see. Nice. Great to see that. Yeah. Uh, Marcel Marcel played. Uh, Sorella played. And a few of the rookies, or not rookies, but prospects that we did send down to um, Rockford, uh, they were not activated today, you know, because they just, they're, they're getting there. in, you know, the uh, lineup there. But um, they'll be in there soon. Um, I saw Sini and Hardman. Right. Uh Cini, Yeah, Sini was there. Uh Gust. Uh, Tepley scored tonight. Uh nice. one, one of the two goals. Uh, but everyone's favorite prospect, Marcel Marcel, uh got on the board with a goal in like three shots. Love to see it. You love oh, to see it. Geez. That's awesome. Good for him. Yep. Great stuff. First game. Yeah, so uh, obviously unhappy with the six to two pumping, but mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, preseason, so you know, not nothing to to worry about too too much. Mm -hmm. And then you know, as as the Blackhawks roster gets whittled and whittled and whittled, you know, I want to say it's still at around thirty one. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you know, as as those guys get out, and then you know, maybe even. They'll send the Hawks will put maybe like a an Entwistle or a Kachu on on waivers, oh, wow. and you know send them down to Rockford and you'll those are you know those yeah. guys in the AHL. I think you know they're they're in that tween stage AHL NHL, mm -hmm. but you know they're going to be high end AHL. So yeah, right, that's right. obviously going to impact the Ice Hogs in a positive light mm -hmm. and. Um, Ah, oh, that that'll be great. Yeah, um, gonna be fun, Hawks and Hogs. Uh, uh, but we are playing tonight, uh, Thursday, pro probably the same time, uh, seven thirty. Haven't checked. Seven thirty, yes. Yeah, you are correct. Right, uh, seven thirty p.m. Central Time. So, uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, let me let me see. Um, oh, that's that's home. So that's at right. That's UC. at UC. Mm -hmm. So I assume it'll be on NBC Sports Chicago. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. And get some panger action. Yeah. And... Um, Voster's a uh, little rough on Tuesday, but okay. So yeah. Be... I was, dude. I actually saw a, a video that come across my timeline. Mm -hmm. It was a collegiate volleyball. And yeah. Chris Wasters was like calling it, and I was like, "Wait a minute, this is yeah. Chris Wasters." Right. And I was like, "Oh uh, wow, like this is like that's cool." So he's probably getting it back into the swing of things, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He uh, still preseason for the for the yeah. uh, the the media crew. <laughs> yeah, and he just has that um, like baseball, golf type of voice to me yeah. because that. I think he started in baseball, but uh, but he'll he'll get in get in a groove, you know. We hope, yeah. we hope, we hope. Yeah, <laughs> nah, he will. I think he'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, good guy. Yeah, yeah, awesome. All right, well, I think that's gonna wrap up this edition of the Chicago Blackhawks Central Hockey Podcast. Uh, I've been Joe Vitale, and that's been Skokes. Uh, go Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah, let's go Hawks.